Hi, my name is Marion. In the blog world, I'm known as Miss Mustard Seed. And I'm Christy, and I'm a blogger at Rosemary and Time. And I'm going to teach you today about the bonding agent. This is a product that comes with our milk paint line. And have you ever heard of it, or do you know what it does? No, nothing about it. Okay. <laughs> um, what the bonding agent is, is it's a product that you can add to milk paint. It's a water-based emulsion that you can add to milk paint to make it bind to slick surfaces, pre-painted surfaces, that sort of thing. So one of the cool things about milk paint that I love is when you paint a piece that already has an existing finish on it, it'll naturally resist that finish. Yeah. Milk paint is really best on raw wood as we've been using it on in our, you know, in our sample boards here. But it's really cool to use on pre-finished surfaces because you get some random chipping and yeah. cracking and flaking that you don't get with any other paint unless right. you're using all these different products and right. layering. So it makes getting that look, that sort of cottage look, the you know shabby chic, French country, all that, makes it really easy to achieve. But that's not for everybody. That's sure. not gonna work in everybody's right. house. If you like a more modern look, a cleaner look, maybe you like more traditional, or it's not right for every piece. You don't wanna get right. like a, I don't know, like a 1980s you know, TV stand. Right. It's gonna look weird if it's all chippy and stuff. So the bonding agent is a product that you can add to the milk paint to make it stick to surfaces it wouldn't other, otherwise stick to. So things like metal, um, people have even used it on glass, oh, wow. um, and any surface that's sort of slick and shiny. Now, what I would suggest doing is if you are painting a finish that has a really glossy factory finish, mm -hmm. is giving it a light sanding first. Okay. And everybody's always like, no, I don't want to <laughs> sand, like we don't want to prep. Well, this is not like, you know, prepping it like, you know, um, an old fashioned woodworker would yeah. prep it. This is like just easy prep. We're just going okay. to, you would just take a piece of sandpaper and just lightly rub the piece. Okay. Shouldn't take you more than like five minutes to prep a piece okay. to paint if That's you're sanding bad. it. Yeah, it's, it shouldn't be a big deal. And then you would add the bonding agent to the paint. So we've already mixed up our tricycle milk paint here and it's one fourth cup of water and one fourth cup of tricycle paint. And we used the, um, the, the milk paint mixer in order to mix it. So this, this batch is a little oh, frothy. <laughs> it's a little frothy, but we're gonna add the bonding agent to it and it's all gonna turn out fine. So because we used a quarter cup of milk paint, we're going to use a quarter cup of the bonding agent. So you can just squeeze the bonding agent into the cup. Oh, look, I didn't take the, I didn't <laughs> This new. is a brand new bottle <laughs> and I didn't take this little cap off. So that's your first, that's the first step in the instructions. Is Probably would have made a mess if you had not seen that. That's right. Okay, so there we go. Now we're ready to go. You can just squeeze that in. And this is the smallest size bottle of the bonding agent. It comes in larger bottles and it comes in really big bottles if you do a lot of painting. Now we're measuring it today, but I'll be totally honest to tell you that I don't generally measure. I'll just put a little squirt in there and um, and just mix it around and that's fine. I use more bonding agent if I'm painting a really slick surface and I'll use less bonding agent if I maybe I'm just unsure if it's gonna chip but I'm gonna, yeah. I just want a little bit of insurance and I'll add that in. Okay, so just mix it like the paint? Exactly, you just turn it. As you can tell, it incorporates very easily. Yep. And it will change the texture of the paint slightly. It won't change the color, but it'll change the texture of it a little bit. Now, a lot of people think it's gonna make it more watery, but it really right. doesn't make it more watery. It, it actually thickens it and gives it more body, and it doesn't dilute the color. So try dipping the brush in, and we're gonna brush it out on the board. Now, you wouldn't need to use, you're gonna have to really dip your brush down in there so you're not getting all the- The froth on the top. The foam. <laughs> Okay, and then go ahead and brush it on. Now tricycle, when you brush it out, it, it can tend to look pink. Right. So you don't need to, that's common with reds. You don't need to freak out at that. It'll still dry red. So 
what do you think about the texture? Like, how does it compare to having the bonding agent versus not having the bonding agent? Uh, I think it's a lot smoother. I mean, even from when we mixed it before, like, it seemed to just, like, glide on a lot easier. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it made more of an even coat. Yeah. Just a few brush strokes. You know, I didn't have to keep going over it. It does. And another difference is that it's really sort of sitting on top of the wood as opposed to this sample here that we painted where it actually it absorbs. absorbs more like a stain. So that's sort of the difference between using it on... That's why you would want to use it on a pre-finished surface versus just raw wood. Gotcha. Because if you're painting raw wood with milk paint, you really want it to soak in. Right so that you have a nice, you know, a finish that's going to last. If you're painting, though, an existing finish, that existing finish is going to act like a barrier so that right. the paint can't absorb. So this bonding agent is going to help it adhere when it's sitting on top of a surface versus soaking in. Very cool. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Also, I found that if, if you don't like the texture of milk paint, sort of yeah. if you're not used to it, adding the bonding agent really helps with improving the texture. So it does make it a little bit more creamy. Um, a little bit more familiar. So it's something that you can add to um, help the texture and also help with adhesion. So you can use it when you are painting pre-finished surfaces or um, if you just want to try to get that creamier finish. So that's the bonding agent there. And we'll follow up with some more videos on showing some examples of when we would use the bonding agent on pieces.